signals are part of a railway system. They tell their signs that tell trains when to stop and when to go. They stop accidents happening. The signal men of Sodor are very proud with their signals, and they can usually be seen in their signal boxes walking out the trains. Today is no exception, and the railway system was running well. Wait a minute, is that diesel the prank engine I can see? It is. Diesel, I haven't seen you for quite a long time. Have you been in your forest all this time? What have you got in your truck? <laughs> snakes? You've been collecting snakes? <laughs> oh, why don't I believe that? I think you've been up to your naughtiness again. Snakes. Looks more like wine to me. Anyway, see you later. I've got to go now. Then, one of the signal men reported a problem. He couldn't get his signal to show red for stop. With Henry and Gordon heading for the same junction. Too late. The engines crash, both rolling off the track. The Sodol search and rescue team were called, and so too was, was the fat controller. He left his house, got in his car, and went up his drive. But he, but he had to stop at a red light. Bother, he said. Red. Wait a minute. There's never been a signal at the end of my drive before. <laughs> However, he can't go through it because he's always telling the engines never to go through a red light. He waited. Then there's more trouble. Emily and Spencer crashed at another junction. Both lights were green. <laughs> <laughs> Thomas, Rocky and Howard had to speed up for the rescues. Then James and, James and Edward crashed. It appeared that all the signals on Sodor have been sent to green. Except one. The rat was so quick to get out of his drive to sort out the problem. <laughs> Those aren't snakes, are they, Diesel? They were signal wires, you naughty engine. There were more crashes. The search and rescue team are flat out. And one thing Harold couldn't remember what he was doing. And was actually flying upside down. Better mayhem, and all due to one engine's naughtiness. <laughs> Lots more crashes happened on Sodor. Then Thomas saw Diesel hiding in a tunnel and realised that it was him who caused the problem. Uh oh! Thomas chased Diesel, but he had to give up to carry on with the rescues. Diesel made it back to the safety of his forest to think of more naughtiness. Eventually, all the trains were put back on the rails. None of them are damaged. The signal men have heard the signals. A normal life has resumed to be gone. Except the fat controller, who's still waiting for the light to change to green. 